Huawei reportedly testing smartphones with its own operating system called Hongmeng. This would be a major step for the company's U.S. government's actions have threatened its access to Google's Android operating system. Yahoo Finance's Akiko Vegeta sat down with Huawei CEO Ren Zhengfei and asked him about that operating system. Let's listen. This operating system is developed to adapt to future scenarios like the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, industrial control, and autonomous driving. The latency of this system is no more than 5 milliseconds, and sometimes even less than 1 millisecond. We plan to apply this operating system to IoT applications like smartwatches, smart TVs, and connected vehicles. But for right now, we really don't have any plans to apply it to smartphones. Huawei has an agreement with Google, and we respect their work and achievements they have made. Joining us now, Yahoo Finance is Crystal Hu, who was also there in China on, on that reporting trip to Huawei. Um, so, how important, how reliant is Huawei on that Android operating system? I'll say that's probably the most component or the services that re they rely on U.S. companies. Because from what we learned from the company, on the 5G side, they claim that they are advanced and they don't rely on any U.S. chips. And on the servers and the cell phone side, they said they can find alternatives um, in non-U.S. manufacturers in Taiwan and the Korea. But the operating systems that what Huawei smartphones are relying on is but made by a U.S. company, Google. And I think the company is trying to develop their own alternative. Remember, they are a little bit inconsistent about what's the development stage of the home loan system. Mm -hmm. At first, when the entity list came out, they say, oh, we are actually developing it and we can roll something out by the end of this year. But then during our, our interview, Ren Zhenfei told us that the system was developed for Internet of Things, so not specifically for system. I think Huawei really is trying to put the pressure on the U.S. Department of Commerce while they're considering if they want to grant a waiver to Google to continue to work with Huawei. Because does the U.S. government really want a Chinese company to provide an alternative outside iOS and uh, Google yeah. Android so to your smartphone? Eventually, they're going to have this operating system. So let's look further down the road. Is this the kind of system? System that could be used if the government allowed it in the United States. Did Google face a threat from this? I think Google definitely faced a threat in terms of competition. Because remember, Huawei is already the second largest smartphone makers in the world. If they want to push an operating system, they can you know, maybe start with the domestic market where they already dominate one third of the market share. As long as they got enough people on the board, there will be more developers coming board in developing apps dedicating to the Apple. And that will definitely proposing a threat to the market shares that Android dominance right now well I, I think though if you uh, uh, if you go back and look at what happened to Samsung when they were coming up with their own operating system and given the market position of Android already uh, how realistic do you think it is that it would be it would be successful and it's not just something that is thrown in more for a negotiating tactic or a ploy more than anything else yeah, good point. But I think Huawei is essentially in a different position than Samsung when we have the trade war come into play. That they are in the middle of trade war and you see many patriotic buyers from China <laughs> want to support the company and wants to support its own operating system. And that's the largest smartphone market in the world. And But what we have learned is on the technical side, the um, uh, um, Huawei's own system won't be advanced as the Android system in the beginning. That's why they're looking at more lower end smartphone markets inside China and also in countries like Eastern Europe. So they're not essentially competing with the high end Android phones, but they think if they can get enough people on board in the beginning, they can move to the next step. All right. Crystal, thank you.